Okay, now we have, uh, so far I've been working in Word a little bit. We did a little address book, and uh, at this stage, we're probably going to want to open a file. Figure out a good way to do that. Now, I have the uh, new letterhead uh, from before that we worked with for those couple movies, and, and it still has that Robert Jones language in there and so forth. As you can see, this is um, document, 15, document 35. That's how you know it's a template. And if you're not sure where uh, what template it is, simply open the toolbox and then look over here at the styles, the available styles. And if it looks like like your template, then that's what you're dealing with. If it looks like the word default, then you're dealing with the word default. Like I said before, don't recommend changing the normal default, um, the normal template right out of the gates because... Um, it's somewhat permanent. Don't say this. We'll get out of there. So what I did here was I took the, no the new letterhead and I made it into blank letterhead. And I took out all of the language. So this is the uh, baseline for my new documents. Now, as you, if you're watching before, you saw when you save templates, um, they go to my templates. Now. I had about enough of that, so what we what we do is here we get Word. Go and see now. This is a uh, this is out of the. Just show you. See this right here. When I click Word to open it back up again, it gave me a new doc uh, a new doc from the normal uh, template. Now that's not something I'm on, I'm going to want to use to write my letters and use my law office until I modify the um, baseline template. But until that point, we'll just leave it alone. Now to go to, to modify these other these other preferences. We go to um it looks like you need a document open to do it. So we'll go to preferences and then we'll go to uh, file locations. There's a bunch of stuff you see there. This is a good one. Now strictly for the hardcore if you really want to go PDF you can change the way Word saves. You can actually save stuff as, a, as only as a PDF. But that's probably not advisable just yet. So we'll go to uh, file locations where is that? There it is right there. Now this is what I changed already. I, I file types documents. I made it save to the desktop. To do that, you uh, click on it and click modify. And then you click on where you want it to go. I click desktop. And then I did the same thing for templates. Instead of going to my templates, I changed that. I modified that and to go to desktop. In my view, when I'm working on things, I want when I save things, I, I don't want to have to go look, searching around for them. I want them to be right in my face, and I save everything to um, the desktop and then uh, move it around later. And as you can see with a Mac, that is uh, very easy and convenient. So now that we've got that done, I just wanted to let you know about that. I don't have to save this. This is just a nothing document. Now, you don't want it to create, open a new file. Typically, you have certain, certain, um, folders inside of it, you know, depending on the office, depending on your practice, you know, I used to, uh, we used to do uh, communication research uh, to, uh, from, from opposing counsel, maybe to court, whatever it may be, but whatever it is, you can get this done once and uh, have it done forever. So to do this, working from the desktop, I always work, I always work from the desktop and I like to uh, keep everything there and it's just like, you know, it's just like your desk, so it makes the most sense to me. To uh, get a new folder, just look quick right click and then choose new folder or you can go to the finder and go to file new folder okay so it comes up over here when you do it from the finder if I did it from here and I put new folder it would appear right where I clicked probably gonna want that so we'll move this to trash and I also like to throw things away right away when we build up so <clears throat> now to get other other folders I could right click I could copy this I copy and then I can paste it and then again it comes up over here it's a little annoying so move that to trash the fastest way to copy anything and this works for absolutely anything is to pretty is to hold down the um, alt option key and then click and drag you see a little plus comes up that means it's copy keep holding it click drag click drag and then you can do that for as long as you want all right and you can do the same thing of course with the letterhead All right, now I'm going to get rid of all that stuff. Now, of course, now to rename something on the desktop, or 
or anywhere really. Anytime you want to rename something, rename a file anywhere on a Mac, you just highlight it and then press enter and start typing. So if I wanted to make this say, uh, you know, word, I would just type that word, and there you go. It's that it's not hard to do. Um, now to get rid of all this stuff, because I don't want all this junk laying around. I'm going to select all of this. is called a marquee select. I'm just going to drag it all over this. And this marquee select is available whenever you're using icon view. For example, here. This right now is set to column view. This is list view. This is icon view. This is where I get the marquee. That works. Now, if I want to select here, um, for example, if I want this to go into this file, I click here, and then I can go into it. Now, as you can course go back to get the to get to the other ones now in my view the best way to set up these files is to have them in the column view and the co so you can see what's in here and you can easily get the stuff there's not much in here right now word files that's where I have my blank letterhead and I'll tell you more about that later but these um these I think it's smart to make this particular these folders this, this series of folders to open up default in this view to do that right click on the uh, on the folder on the box there and click show view options now to show view now once you get it here you can you can change the text size if maybe you want this bigger if you want to bounce this up a little bit maybe it's too small for you like that better um, I'm gonna bring it down back down to um, 12 and arrange by you can the default arrange by date modify that might be that be might be sensible for this uh, for this file as well because the stuff we most recently worked on we're probably going to want on top or date created whatever makes sense to you maybe date modified okay and now right here always open in column view I'm going to click that for these for this particular file okay and then that's it that's this is my new client setup when I get a new client this is what I use now. I'm going to go in the next movie. I'm actually going to show you. I'm actually going to set up a client and I'm going to customize the, um, the uh, letterhead and get this, get this entire file going.